It's 6.53 a.m. I just woke up. The fan works incredibly well. I'm used to just sitting in bed and looking through Twitter for like two or three hours <laughs> whenever I wake up. Oh, we can't really do that. We, can't, we, can't, we could, but I'm amazed how well I've been sleeping in a car. I'm amazed. I can't believe it. It's like I almost get the exact same I sleep. <laughs> Of course, it messes my back up, but that's okay. Who cares about that? I just went inside, loves, and I defecated. <laughs> the restrooms, very nice. Inside loves, that's why I like it so much. All the stalls are very high quality, nice. They're clean, they're always clean. Nice place to utilize the restroom, for a gas station especially. Now it's time to brush my teeth. I like to do it outside, I don't know. In a bathroom is kind of weird, or like a public restroom is kind of weird. This is the public earth, though. Let's begin. I'm still amazed how easy it is to live out of your car. I'm still amazed. Wow. Mmm. <laughs> I've been sitting here for like an hour looking at Airbnbs. I'm really considering just booking another one. Every time I want to film a video, I have to open up my hood, attach the power inverter, run a cable all the way across, set everything up. My whole setup, I have to set it all up. When I want to stream, I have to get my monitor out and set it up. And hope to God that this phone can broadcast good signal so I can stream. And then when I'm done, I have to take it all down. When I go into McDonald's or whatever to edit a video, I have to set it all up again in the McDonald's. It's a lot of work. Do I want to spend a thousand to two thousand dollars just to have a home i don't know i'd hate to fail this challenge i would hate to do that yesterday my stream failed terribly it was lagging so much using this phone at a place where i had 11 megabits per second upload speed but when i streamed i was only getting like two megabits per second on my stream according to obs which obviously makes no sense it makes no sense to me so if that's how it's going to be it's not going to be possible to stream which is not good. I think I'm just hungry. I'm gonna go get some food. The McDonald's app is not working. No deals are showing up at all. Right now, the only food available is breakfast food. I like to keep my meals a dollar or less. The only thing really that exists that is a dollar is a sausage burrito, which is nasty. My solution is this. I'm gonna go into this Loves and buy some food because I've been parked here for a long time. So at least if I'm a recurring customer, I can stay parked as long as I want, theoretically. I'm going to eat it. That will make me feel not hungry. It's not gonna be as cheap as McDonald's would have been. Thanks McDonald's, your app is terrible. I'm gonna be looking at everything here and really going through my brain to see if it's wor It's even worth it to live out of my car. On one hand, it's great because you get to travel around, go wherever you want, whenever you want, see all these cool things, go to all these conventions and everything. On the other hand, it's freaking annoying as hell. And I did get so much work done yesterday despite that. I was able to film a video, stream, and edit almost an entire video all in one day that's very rare that I'm able to do all of that in one day but I did it all it's just annoying it's an annoying life and I think the reason it's so annoying is because I'm not traveling around I'm staying in one location that whole aspect of it is amazing I could be going to California I could be doing whatever I want but I'm staying here because I have an Airbnb here that I'm going to go back into once this challenge is over I went in and I got a lovely hot dog I also got a coffee I need to wake myself up this whole meal both the drink and the hot dog cost me five dollars more than five dollars when I could have gone to McDonald's for just one dollar if the app was working very annoying I need to eat this hot dog or I'm gonna die <laughs> <laughs> Loves hot dogs, not very good. Quick Trip has really good hot dogs. There are no Quick Trips around here though. Because that was like my favorite gas station in Kansas City. They have really good <coughs> hot dogs and those corn dog things that they have a Quick Trip. Oh my God, they're so good. All right, let's go to Walmart. Uh, I'm listening to, if you're fucking, look at that. 
because it's an otter. So I've gone ahead and I've used my Surface here to record the audio for my video, and I've transferred it to my phone, which I'm gonna transfer from my phone to my laptop when I work on it. Later today, between now and then, I'm going to go actually take a shower. I'm gonna go take a shower at the Airbnb, then I'm gonna go, because I'm not even hungry right now, there's no point in going to a McDonald's and buying food just to sit in there and work when I'm not hungry. So I'm gonna go take a shower, I'll probably be hungry when I'm done with that, go to McDonald's, get some work done, and we'll go from there. Okay, I'm at the Airbnb. I'm gonna go take a shower. And then continue on with my day. Day three has turned out to be pretty much a work day as well, just like day two is. I'm a YouTuber. I I have to edit videos all day. So I don't know if these if these videos that you're watching right now will actually reach 10 minutes. I spent all day in that McDonald's right there. You can barely see it because of the sun. It's like 6.57 p.m. I spent all day working on editing day number one, and today is currently day three. I got some McDonald's to go. I got a cheeseburger. I got some fries. You guys, I have, I've worked so so much today. I think I'm gonna head to Disney. Again, I'm now reinvigorated. I needed that day of working. I just needed some motivation, so. Let me show you a couple things in my car really quick that I haven't showed you yet, just because I think it'd be fun to show you. So, I power my phone through that. This lovely device right here, is a two port car USB charger and it has quick charge on both the ports there. So my Galaxy S9 that I'm using to navigate to Magic Kingdom here uh, can be charged using quick charge and so can another device like my LG V20 phone. I have two phones, I'm a YouTuber. This is very, very nice. The best car charger I've ever had and it just plugs right in to there. So that's how I power my phone and of course I have a line running to here so I can have some lovely music, you know. I did have a lovely thing, a suction cup thing that was broken on the first episode that I put this on to navigate places and it broke, it's broken. So I have to use this one for now. I need to get another one to put there so I can have both my phones up here. Whoops, I hit the camera. I like to have one navigating and one playing music. Right now I have just one doing both. How I do that is I will just open it up in a multi window like that and then maps will be the other one. So I'll just have a SoundCloud on one side and I'll have navigation on the other side. So let's go to Magic Kingdom, shall we? Or should we go somewhere else? Let's go to Epcot. Begin! It's only a 21 minute drive. So I'm gonna eat this food and talk to you. It's delicious. Mm. Mm -hmm. I love McDonald's. So, before we head off to, to Epcot, you can barely see me because that, that light there, this might help if I, if I lean like that. This whole experience is just the craziest thing. It's insane. It's an absolutely insane idea. Nobody in their right mind would ever do this. But I'm doing it. You know what I'm saying? You might think, oh, you know, car, sleeping in a car, that's terrible. But imagine being a caveman. You had to sleep in a cave with no blankets because they didn't exist. We're so spoiled with modern day conveniences that people really overlook how easy life is if you just give up a couple of those. Sure, it's convenient to live in a house, but you can't travel around America at your leisure when you have to bring your whole house with you. You know what I'm saying? When you're living in a car, you don't have to deal with that. So you sacrifice comfort for other things. To me, that's what it's all about. It's more difficult to do a lot of things in a car. You have to put in the work to do that, but it's much more, it's much more worth it. When you, when you really get down to it. Because once again, in return for that, I'm able to travel anywhere and I'm saving money, like thousands of dollars a month. A lot of people get ideas in their head like this. Like, oh, what if I just lived in my car? That would save me so much money. A lot of people have ideas like this. They're like, oh, that'd be really cool to do. That'd be really cool, you know, but they never end up doing it. Nobody actually ends up doing it. You gotta make the push. If it's something you really wanna do, you have to make the push and make it happen because otherwise it won't happen. You know what I'm saying? If you really want something, you have to go out and just do it. Just do it. Now, I still have to figure out how I'm gonna stream from my car. If my phone Rebroadcasting uh, is not going to work then I'm gonna need to figure something out because I do need to stream I can stream from my phone and just do a phone stream But if I want to play like a video game or something, I need to figure it out. I need to figure it out I'll cross the road when I get to it tomorrow. Tomorrow is a big day. Tomorrow is a huge day I'm gonna do a lot of stuff tomorrow. Today is not as big of a day. I just worked all day I have a lot of errands to do. I'm gonna figure out uh, go to a couple mechanics, see if they can install this power inverter for me, because I can do it myself, but I don't want to. It would take freaking forever. I need to buy all the tools. It's just not worth it. Not worth the time, not worth the research, not worth anything. I'm gonna see if a mechanic will install it for me. Another lovely issue I just thought of in my head, what happens if it rains overnight? Because I didn't tell you this, you cannot sleep in your car with your car on overnight. You can't do it. You risk dying. If your air conditioner is on and a leak happens, you can get carbon monoxide filling up in your car and you can die without ever waking up 
driveway without ever realizing it. So I always have my car off. That's why it gets so hot in my car. That's why I got the fan, and the fan works amazingly. My car is off, and all my windows are cracked so that air can flow through. What happens if it rains? That's a lovely problem that I don't have a solution to yet, but I'll figure it out. What happens if it rains? I don't know. <laughs> I didn't prepare for that. You always find new problems uh, that will arise as you go along, but you have to come up with creative solutions. And I think I can cr come up with a creative solution. So right now my solution would be if it rains, I just roll my windows up and I just stay awake until it stops raining. If I have to pull an eliminator, I just pull an eliminator until I come up with a solution. That's what I'm going to have to do. And that's just the name of the game. You know what I'm saying? You have to make sacrifices to make it work, but I'm going to make it work. It's already seven. Jesus. Epcot closes at nine. I don't even know if I'm going to go to Epcot anymore. Might as well go for a little bit. Might as well go for a little bit. Because if it closes at nine, I can go to wherever I'm going to sleep and I can play some Nintendo Switch for a little bit. Watch some Netflix, do whatever I want to do, hang out for a little bit longer. So I'll enjoy some, some Epcot tonight. Let's go to Epcot, shall we? I parked in Discover 18. Remember that. They're so cool. And they're going away soon, which is so sad. If you go to the Nikon, Nikon, however you say it, camera center, right underneath Spaceship Earth, they actually still sell disposable cameras. <laughs> it's the craziest thing I've ever seen in my life. I remember these back when I made my first trips here when I was a young child. Those are what we took pictures on. Absolutely crazy. Jesus Christ, can I turn the freaking car on? Oh my God, it is hot and it is humid. Subcut was fun, not the happiest place on earth because that's Magic Kingdom and that's also Disneyland. All of the Disneylands are the happiest place on earth, which makes zero sense because there's six of them. But Epcot is one of the happiest places on earth. I can tell you that much, I love Epcot. I'm running very low on water. I do have water in my trunk. Pro tip, 
That is an absolute mess. I need to clean all this up. But I do have underneath here, I have some, I can't even probably see it, some water, some bottled water here. This is 100% necessary. If you're gonna be doing this, you gotta have water in your car at all times. If you're driving through the desert, your car breaks down. You're not able to get to water for some reason, you'll have water. Uh, you never know. And I also have toilet paper as well, tons of it, paper towels everywhere. And you always want to put a rubber band on them to keep them from unrolling in the car because they like to move around. So if you put a rubber band on it, that's not going to happen now, is it? So, like I said earlier, there's a McDonald's on Disney World property. Since I'm going to be using the $1 sandwich coupon, there's no extra purchase required. It just makes the sandwich a dollar. It's always a really busy McDonald's. It takes forever to get your order taken. So I like to order on the mobile app and I can do it before I even drive there. So let's do it, shall we? So we got our $1 sandwich. You can have it scanned at a restaurant, but you have to wait in line at this one. They don't have the kiosk. If they, if they have the kiosk, you know, I'll show you a kiosk soon. A lot of McDonald's have kiosks now that you can use. No actual cashier involved. You can scan these coupons at a kiosk, or you can have an actual real cashier do it. Um, I'm just going to add this $1 sandwich to my mobile order here, and it pops up. I get to choose my sandwich, and I believe that the most bang for your buck sandwich is the triple cheeseburger, which is right here. Normally it's $3. So we're going to customize it. I'm going to get rid of my mustard, get rid of the ketchup because I'm very plain. Onions, I don't care. They can stay. Whatever. Pickle, none. American cheese, meat, regular, and salt. Uh, normal and bun normal okay confirm and we add this to our order here and we let it load up here you see our total right there our subtotal is a dollar of course we're gonna have to pay tax and we choose our payment method which i'm not going to show you obviously and once you finished oh jesus christ I ordered it for the wrong McDonald's. Oh well, that's not a big deal. I think we can easily change it. If you choose the wrong restaurant, go up to your order here, okay? You choose reopen, reopen your order. Then you can change where you're ordering from. So I'm gonna order from, not here, I'm gonna order from the McDonald's right here at Disney right by Blizzard Beach. I'm gonna add this one to my favorites also because it's the one I go to a lot. So now we've ordered the food, it is ready. So once we get there, I'll show you what to do. All you have to do now is just go to that McDonald's when you're ready to pick it up. I can wait until really whenever, until 3 something a.m. I can just, I just have to get there before then. And once we get there, there's that's when we continue our steps. So we're gonna click, got it. Let's make our way over there, shall we? So I'm gonna bring in everything that I wanna charge. I'm actually gonna spend a little bit of time in here. It's like 10 p.m. This McDonald's is open 24 7 so I might as well take advantage of the power while I have it because otherwise I'd just be sitting in my car charging stuff for my car but there's no need to waste the years on my car having it run if I have access to a McDonald so I'm gonna take the batteries out of this fan here I'm gonna charge them up put them in here good I'm gonna put this in here my backpack my backpack has my laptop in it my switch is not in there though I'm gonna get that in. this way I can relax and play some some video games I started a new thing all I, I used to work like on YouTube 24 7 never ever did anything other than YouTube. I've started to do a thing where now I just kind of give myself some time Let's go in and get the food now before we even go inside though. Let's check the app now that we're here check a look at that We can easily just check out our mobile pickup options and I always choose um, either in-store or curbside You can also do the drive-thru if you want um, But since I'm going in I'm gonna choose in-store I can just walk in and basically pick up my food rather than have to wait in line or anything. So we're gonna we're gonna do an eat in here and it is ready to go. This is my number. Now while we're waiting for that number to be called, might as well get some lovely filtered water in the water bottle. And there it is. We order the triple cheeseburger. There's the outlet. There's my food. Let's get set up. I have about everything that you can possibly plug into a wall <laughs> plugged into here right now. My goodness, I've got a camera battery, I have my battery batteries, my phone, this thing which can charge all my USB stuff. Maybe a little bit crazy, but you know what? It gets the job done. And I get McDonald's out of it. Amazing. Look at this thing. Look at that. Beautiful. If you keep all your meals at a dollar or less, that's only $90 a month for food. Think about it like this. You go to a restaurant here at Disney and spend like anywhere from 12 to like $50, depending on where you go. That's like 12 to 50 meals worth of money that you're spending on one meal. Budgeting is 
that's interesting. You can buy 12, more than that, you can buy like 24 packages of ramen noodles for $12. There's 24 meals. That lasts you like a third of a month. Now that I'm done eating, it's time to play some Octopath Traveler and see what all the hype is about while this just kind of charges over here. Oh my goodness, just a lot of stuff. Turns out we're on 12%. So this is now plugged in as well. <laughs> I now have one, two, three, four, five, like six things charging. It is 12, 12.48 a.m. I'm very tired. I think I should leave McDonald's and go sleep. All my stuff has been charging. I got one camera battery charged, the other one's charging. This is like halfway charged. I'm very tired. My switch is over here charging. I <laughs> literally, that is at 62%. Not bad at all, actually. Of course, my phone is at, uh, whatever percent is that, 67. This one's about half as well. So not too bad. I continue charging in the car though, because let's pack this all up, shall we? It's cold in these McDonald's. They're always cold. So bring in a sweatshirt, dump the trash away. Now of course, before leaving, I'm gonna hit up the restroom here. Yeah, it needs to be screwed on, but I can't. I'm holding the camera. <laughs> if you need some napkins, grab some napkins. I actually have, I have tons, because I always go to McDonald's. I get more than I ever need. But if I were in need of some, I would grab some here. You have forks and knives also, salt, pepper, whatever you want. Oh my god. <laughs> It's so foggy because it's so hot and humid. Going from the cold air conditioning out here, it made my lens fog up. Look how fancy this McDonald's is. Yeah, Florida is absolutely insane, but look at this. This is a fancy McDonald's. This is the one at Disney World. A great tip is don't buy paper towels, don't buy plastic spoons or forks, knives, straws. Don't buy salt, pepper, ketchup, anything you can get for free at McDonald's and it always it usually comes with your food so I just get so many napkins I don't use napkins really for anything while eating food normally so I just save them I have tons in my car don't even have to buy paper towels let's go find our, our place our location our location for sleeping for free in a car I don't want to say it out loud because people judge me all right we're in the car now this is a 24-hour McDonald's but it's also a Disney World McDonald's so I don't really I don't know if McDonald's is Good place to sleep overnight, let alone one at Disney World. I'd be curious to try it here, but I'm not going to because I don't think it would end well. I think Disney security would not enjoy that. Even though I am an annual pass holder, I have the most expensive annual pass where I can go to Disneyland and Disney World. I should basically have my own McDonald's with the money that I paid for that. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Literally, I have the most expensive annual pass to Disney. And I'm homeless. I have to make a decision. Am I gonna go to Walmart or am I gonna go to Love's? Oh, it's a tough decision. I think I'll go to Walmart. Walmart is more like, it's it's less intimate. I'm gonna blend in. I feel like I can blend in easier at Walmart rather than Love's. Love's is nicer, but you stand out more, you know? I, I just wanna blend in tonight. I'm gonna blend in. I think I'm gonna go to Walmart and blend in. Let's go to Walmart, shall we? I've arrived at my Walmart that I'm be sleeping at. Ugh. The past couple nights, I haven't brushed my teeth at night. I just did it in the morning. I really don't want to do it because it requires effort. But here's the problem. You can't just be lazy and expect your teeth to not fall out. I'm gonna brush my teeth. Let's do it. I'm gonna turn my car off. Well, first turn the lights off and then turn the car off. Oh yeah, let's get to it, shall we? The first step is flossing. It's very, very quiet out here. That car next to me has someone sleeping in it. this fan on. I was charging the batteries, so we need to get these batteries put in here and then start the fan up. So let's do that. My wheel is completely off there. That's okay. The fan is on. Can you even see that? And that is much better. Oh my god. That makes all the difference in the world. Okay. This has been day three. A work day and a fun day. It's been a nice time, guys. Tonight has been nice. Be sure to give a like. Subscribe, ping the bell for notifications. And have some gay yif parties or some shit. Enjoy your penis. Oh, well, 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 there we are. Laying in the place to be, yeah, yeah.